Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about surprisingly shocking stupid things that people do or have seen people do during this coronavirus pandemic. So let's jump right into it. Uh, we all have heard and we have seen them uh, all uh, suggest that we sneeze into our arms or our elbows. Uh, so why is it then that we see all these celebrities and politicians and everyone else on television uh, fist bumping each other when we have social distancing? Remember, we have social distancing, but they're up close fist bumping each other. And on top of that, they're all reaching out with the elbows up with the elbows. What is it with the elbows? Who wants to touch your nasty elbow after you've sneezed on it and probably put the virus there and then reaching out to touch someone? So I think that's pretty stupid. If you think it's stupid, leave a comment below and uh, leave a comment with what you have noticed uh, to be stupid things that people do. And I'm going to go through quite a few of them. I'm sure I'm missing a lot, but we will probably have a follow-up video on other stupid things. So here is a McDonald's in a Walmart, and um, it's like a crime scene. Uh, so now, you know, uh, the state shut down all restaurants, bars, etc., and all fast food places now need to do only pickup, or you order your food and you go in, pick up the food and leave. There's no one staying in close proximity in the restaurants anymore to sit next next to each other. This way we uh, flatline that uh, uh, virus and make sure we have it spread a lot less by social distancing. So here is the Walmart uh, blocking off and you know you're not supposed to be doing this stuff, right? You're not even supposed to be touching your own fist, uh, face, but you could be fist bumping uh, total strangers. Now, so the restaurants are all shut down. It's all caged off here in this Walmart. And um, well, no one even knows it's open because it's completely empty in there. Uh, but they are open for pickups. Now, have you guys seen this one? Well, this is called the Coronavirus Challenge. And if you, you go to YouTube and uh, search for the video, Coronavirus Challenge, you'd see that this idiot who is supposed to be a YouTuber uh, is challenging other people to the coronavirus challenge. Now, this is not something just stupid to do. You have to believe that this individual herself has to be at some level of high stupidity level. Uh, so on a scale of one to 10, she's probably pushing a 20 at this point. But again, if you think that's cool, leave it in the comments below. Uh, because not only did she do it, she actually got some other idiots to follow along and take the challenge. It seems there's no end to stupidity and how many people would actually jump on board to doing something stupid. So very, very stupid thing to do. And um, she's gotten a, getting a lot of um, feedback and um, hits on the website. And uh, a lot of people very upset with the video, but again, promoting idiots to go lick a toilet seat. Uh, trust me, she may not get the e e Ebola virus, but she may get uh, quite a few other diseases. And it looks like, uh, by the way, uh, something that, uh, it looks like an air, airline uh, bathroom, something that you would see on an airplane. Anyway, moving right along, here's the new shopping. Yep, here's this guy going out and um, well, we talk about social distancing. This guy is just completely covered on anything that would get him um, into this virus mode. But he has a paper bag on his head. And uh, as we know, uh, it's, not, it's not filtered. So a virus, someone sneezing, would still penetrate the virus. Uh, the, the, all of this, the, this uh, armor, this viral armor that he has on, and still infect him. Again, another stupid person doing stupid things. Uh, maybe it's funny and it probably is funny for us to look at it, but still stupid. So this is stupid funny. Okay. 
So what is social distancing? Well, social distancing is what the government and everyone else, the doctors are recommending that you stay at least six feet away from someone else uh, when you're in public so that you want to keep your distance so that you stop spreading the virus. And if we stop spreading the virus, even if you're young and you, can, you have the virus and you don't show symptoms and you may not even know you have the virus, it prevents you from spreading it or helps prevent you from spreading for someone that's elderly in their 60s, 70s, uh, in, in 80s, that is easily going to contract the virus and it could probably kill them. So you might be safe, but again, you want to prevent it from spreading to someone elderly that might actually kill them. So if you care about the elderly, social distancing, stay away from the people. Now here is why this is this is this is a good thing. But have you seen the stupid people that actually, and we're going to talk more about this as this video goes on. Actually, all over the television, going to concerts and bars and all over each other, and they don't actually have a care in the world. It's like no big deal. So people are thinking that it's no big deal. This virus is in over a hundred countries has killed thousands of people. And yet yeah, the count isn't high as yet, but it is going to get there because uh, over time it is going to spread even more. And idiots like you that go out and do stupid shit will be actually helping uh, kill more people. So social distances, distancing, practice it so we don't help kill other people people. It's that simple. Now, social distancing tip. This guy has it right. You see, he has, everyone has to stay a certain distance away from him. So funny, yes, practical. He gets an A plus for practical. Don't expect everyone to be walking around like that, but be aware of your surroundings. Cool. Let's move right along. Work from home. Well, some people cannot work from home. So here's the Uber driver, my Uber driver, in playing around about coronavirus. Now, why aren't they actually, um, you put in a ban on restaurant, bars, small businesses, but why isn't uh, drivers and anyone with a business where they have to actually put themselves at risk or their workers at risk at coming into contact with total strangers? Remember, these people may or may not know that they have a virus. Some of them are absolutely unaware that they have the virus and they could spread it to someone else. So why are these businesses not all also shut down? Uh, people that go meet people. I, I know people like optometrists. Not necessary to get your glasses fixed right now or repaired. Stay away from anyone that is doing uh, uh, surgeries and stuff like that that is elective and is not actually life-threatening and you could put it off for a month or two why don't you just do that so that you could free up the hospitals and spaces and the doctors to do things that are more important? So businesses like this uh, sh that are putting the drivers at risk um, should actually be shut down. You may like it, you may not like it, but at the end, it's not about just money. It is also about your health and what is more important to you. These are times where you are really going to have to decide what is important in my life, what is actually going to be beneficial. You see everyone rushing into the stores. What are they actually buying? Is it actually a necessity, something that is necessary or something that we just want to hoard just for the purposes of hoarding it? Or is it something that is going to be actually adding value to you right now? So. Uh, you might put yourself or go out here and put yourself exposed, but when you get sick, no one is going to care about you. Trust me, the government ain't going to care. Your, your boss isn't going to give a shit. So they're going to easily replace you. So you cannot wait for a government to protect you. You cannot wait for your boss to protect you, your company, company to protect you. You have to protect you and do what is right for you and your family. So, Uber, Lyft, all of these um, rideshare services are putting precautions in place. Delivery services as well. No contact uh, things are in place to help protect some uh, people. 
But the best thing to do again is to stay home. Now, you see a lot of people walking around with masks, mask, mask, and they keep telling you masks are for the people that actually have the virus so that they don't spread it to someone else. But why are you walking around with a mask if you do not have the virus? Because masks that are unfiltered and it's not like an N95 mask is not really going to protect you. So everyone's walking around with these little 99 cents mask and $10 for a hundred pack mask. That is not actually going to do anything for you when you're shopping in stores where it's tons of people in there still. So surgical masks should be used by people who are sick. So if you were in out there with these masks, everyone is going to assume, in my opinion, that you're sick. Prevent the spread of germs through sneezing or coughing because you're gonna sneeze in your mask, cough in your mask, and help stop putting it out to the other people that are healthy. But again, if you're sick, what the hell are you doing walking around in a mask anyway? Stay home and isolate yourself. The N95 respirator, uh, respirator mask is the FDA approved mask, very efficient filtration of airborne particles. Now this is the mask that is actually going to protect you, used by those treating COVID-19. So these are like the doctors, nurses, people working in the hospitals, um, emergency services like firemen, firefighters, yeah, ambulance drivers, stuff like that. These are the people that should be wearing this stuff, not you. Stay home. Now, we all know school that schools are closed. Well, in the US, most schools are closed anyway. Uh, some places still have schools open, like the UK. I, uh, they are actually behind some third world countries right now because they can't seem to make a decision whether to school, close schools or not or leave them open. They are actually waiting to be like Italy before they make decisions like this. And this is why we have to be actually very happy that we have a government here that is actually taking it proactively and saying close the schools and to keep the kids home however here's the stupid part of the story remember this is again stupid things that people do we close the schools to keep the kids home to be safe so that they will probably get it but they don't really show symptoms at that age some have the symptoms most of them don't at that age the problem is we kept them home so that they don't get the symptoms, they don't get the virus, and they take it home to grandma, grandpa, mom and dad, and have them infected, and they die. Now, who's going to take care of the kids? But these kids go home, they're not supervised, they're allowed to go out on play dates and to the parks and playing with their friends, and they're all over themselves, playing like nothing, running on, 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 on uh, trampolines and all of the little park right, um seesaws and climbing uh, apparatus and equipment all getting infected and then they're going to come home to spread that infection the reason that you're home is to stay home not to go out and spread diseases or catch diseases and kill everyone in the family now that might be a little bit little bit drastically said but someone needs to say because some people are just not getting the point to stay home now uh you stay home, well, how am I going to get this and that? Well, all of these companies are delivering. What is wrong with staying home, going online, order your food, order this? I know Walmart does deliveries, Target does deliver. Most of every supermarket and business today, restaurants, order the food and have it shipped to you. Someone is going to come by the door, drop it off by the door, you open your door, pick it up, you don't have to see anyone, talk to anyone, get your stuff delivered. So, People are walking around with unfiltered masks, people walking around uh, for all different types of things. So schools are closed. And um, again, we need to know what is going on, what is going on and what is going around. So if they close schools, they also closed restaurants, right? And they closed restaurants for that same specific reason stop the spreading of the disease so don't get upset i see a lot of friends and family members upset that oh and then we have uh, why is this restaurant closed and blah 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 they're going too far then some people actually say well where am i going to eat today well learn to cook this is a time to learn to cook if you don't know how to cook you're 30 20 18 years old you don't know how to cook you have been missing out on a lot of life lessons in my opinion you should be able to cook 
buy your food, go home and cook it. But the stores and supermarkets are filled with food, but we have no toilet paper. And I'm going to tell you why we have no toilet paper at the end of this video. So, coronaviruses, again, school closed, and you know why. But here's the next thing that is pretty stupid. The big influx into the airports, social distancing. But here it is, everyone's in the airport waiting to come back into the country or whatever they're doing, and I don't see any social distancing. If you didn't have a virus, I'm telling you now, you probably do have the virus because you're coming on from all over the world, and this is what you put into uh, so that is a pretty terrible situation to be in as well. Now, here's Elizabeth Warren a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I'm going to be introducing a plan tomorrow to take every dime that the president is now spending on his racist wall at our so uh, southern borders and divert it to work on the coronavirus. Elizabeth Warren at a town hall, February 26, 2020. And here's one of my favorite actors saying, uh, epidemic uh, uh, becomes a pandemic when people travel from country to country and you want to ensure our borders remain unsecure. And here he said it, you must be a special kind of stupid. And I agree, that is a special kind of stupid. Again, not everyone agrees with that. If you disagree, put a comment below. Good or bad, it's all good. Now, here we go. Poll, do you think that the coronavirus is a real threat or blown out of proportion? Because so many people in social media, well, what is the big B deal? This is no big deal. What are they doing all of this? They're overdoing it. They should impeach this governor and that governor. And people actually saying this and spreading stupid news. Stupid people making stupid comments, spreading stupid news to friends and family members, and they're actually influencing some of these people. Well, a real threat, 66% of the people thinks the real threat, that is good. That should be 100%. Uh, blown out of proportion, 30% almost. And some people, 7% unsure. They cannot even make a decision for themselves. They cannot think for themselves. They unsure. They don't know either one way, 50-50, flip a coin, pick a side, dude. Uh, so real threat, 66%. Blown out of proportion, 27% of the people think that this is blown out of proportion until someone in their family has it and dies, then they want to sue this one, sue that one, and sue everyone uh, because they didn't take it seriously enough or the president didn't do enough for it, which is total bullshit. So take ownership of it. Uh, blown out of proportion. You would rather be uh, protected than unprotected. So remember, guys, uh, when you're on a ship, the ship doesn't sink because of the water around you. The ship sinks because of the water that you allow in the ship and gets into the ship. So this is your mind being infected by stupid people thinking that it's nothing to be uh, serious about. Don't let stupid people infect you and, ship, and, and sink your ship. You make sure that you understand that this is a real threat and that is why it is spreading uh, pandemic uh, style across the entire world. Now, this morning uh, at the post office, while I was in line at the post office, two people with masks entered and there was total, absolute panic because they were wearing this mask. Uh, but the funny thing about it is this. The two people wearing the mask says, this is a robbery and man, everyone then calmed down. Let me let that sink in for a second. Okay, let's move right along. So, why are we running out of toilet paper? This is the question of the day. And I'm going to let you think about this for a second because I'm going to come back in a couple minutes and give you the answer. So, I want you to think seriously. Why are we running out of toilet paper? But in the meantime, here's a cool uh, notice board in the underground in, in the UK. Uh, the period of social distancing and self-isolation may cause frustration. We can pretend uh, to be bears who are in high hibernation. There are plenty of things that we can do at home and we can use communication to chat to people to see how they are doing. 
and if they have any recommendations it will be taken uh, it will take uh, sorry uh, it will take getting used to but together we shall get through this situation with one love we are one world we are not just one nation we need to look after each other especially the vulnerable let there be no alienation and when this strange time is over have a massive celebration and this was from all on the board so again that was pretty cool uh, and this is what is going to be happening next Sunday again it's a stupid cartoon and I don't think the priest should be holding it and putting it in your mouth anyway so that needs to stop as well uh, you can't be going on and shaking hands and peace be unto you and having gatherings and churches and stuff like that I saw today on the news one priest was sitting outside on a chair and he had drive um, by like drive through sorry I shouldn't say drive bys I should say drive through drive through uh, confessions so he's going above and beyond but no one should be gathering because you want to keep social distancing and remember the toilet paper well is it me you're looking for so that was a pretty cool meme but here is the answer to the question that we had before why is there such a lack of toilet paper and here we go why are we running out of toilet paper because when one person sneezes a hundred others shit themselves and that is the message today social distancing so go out buy your toilet paper because now we know why so many people are buying toilet paper so guys i hope you liked the message today if you did hit the like button if you liked subscribe so you get follow-up email notifications when we put more uh, information out on this channel and don't forget to share it with a friend so we get the news out and we get the information out to everyone and at least put a smile on their face and while we get out real information to the masses thanks for watching and remember to work less no really see I've been preaching this for months and years work less play more indoors and enjoy life have a fantastic day bye bye